Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a classroom. I thought this was kind of a fun idea because I bet around about this time of the year, a lot of you guys are going back to school. So I thought that you might want to build a classroom outside of school so you can pretend to be in school some more. You know, you know what? The more I, the more I talk about this, the more this seems like a horrible idea, but it is a fun build regardless. This is everything that our little classroom has to offer. We have desks, we have chairs, we have windows, we have the teacher's desk, we have a good old-fashioned blackboard, we have books, we have a lovely creeper-filled interior, we have everything that you could possibly need. If you want to make a school to go along with your classroom, I have built one of those and I will include it in both the card system and the description below, which also includes a school bus. So, look out for those in both the card system and the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. And without any further ado, why don't I show you how to make this thing? So, if you want to make it, Here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some white concrete, some red terracotta, oak wood doors, some glass blocks, some wooden trap doors, black concrete, oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slabs, and some oak wood slabs. Plus, we need all of the other materials that you can see in my inventory right now. And that's a lot of them, so you might want to pause the video, make sure that you have it all, and once you do, you can start again. So, once you have all of this stuff, and once you've figured out where you want to make it. So this classroom will actually fit into a 14 block by 15 block area. It's quite a small room, so you might want to plan accordingly. Well, we're going to begin the classroom with a single oak wood door. This is the sole entrance in and out of the classroom. We want to go right of that door by two using the white concrete. One, two. Extend that concrete towards you, the second one, by 14. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We then want to take that 14th block and we want to go left by 13. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Take that 13th block, extend it towards where the door is, and then connect it to the door like this. Just connect it all the way to the door like that. What we then want to do is we want to build up the walls a little bit because the walls have some built-in detail. We want to take the oak wood door, we want to take the upper half of it, and we want to go left by one using the red terracotta. And then five using the black concrete. One, two, three, four, five. Add two additional rows of black concrete on top of that. One and two with a row of red terracotta on top of this. This is the blackboard. If you like, you can even add a row of dark oak wood slabs on the lower half, the, half of the board, and you can add a row of dark oak wood slabs on the top half of the board, just to better frame it. Continuing from the blackboard though, we want to take the very bottom row of the blackboard and we want to continue going left by five with the red terracotta. One, two, three, four, five. Take that fifth block and extend it towards you by another five. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then place a row of three glass blocks coming towards you. That's one, two, three. Add another row on top of that like this. And then you can proceed to make the entire rest of this row. So when I say the entire rest of this row, coming all the way, all the way around the classroom and next to the door, make it red terracotta. Place a single glass above the door like this, because for some reason there's always glass surrounding school doors. I don't know why, or at least there was when I was at school. I don't know, I think it's because they want to keep an eye on you. Anyway, what you want to do after that is you just want to make all of the rest of the rows, so going around, making every way even, you want to make it all as high as the row of red terracotta that sits directly on top of the blackboard. So I do believe that it's just a few rows all the way around the room, and then that will be that. And I don't think that we're going to do it now, but you, you, I mean, you could do it now. You could save yourself a little hassle. Um, you could place down a green carpet or a carpet of your choice. You could even use a different color block rather than red terracotta. You don't have to make the rooms like this. I just think that it kind of, it really does, it kind of looks like a brick color and it kind of just sets the set, it just sets the right mood for a classroom to me. But, you know, that's kind of up to you. So that's what we want to have so far. We have the room pretty much planned now. Now, come to the back left-hand corner of the room. So you want to be in this block, this one, opposite the door. And you want to move to the right by two. One, two. Then you want to move down by one. Place yourself 
an awkward stare there. That is the teacher's chair, and we're going to place wooden trapdoors on the side of it to make it look more cheery. Ha, <laughs> cheery. Anyway, we then want to place, leaving a gap of one, we actually want to place an oak wood slab in front of the chair. So you want to leave an entire gap of one, and you want to have an oak wood slab suspended in the air. And we want to have upside down oak wood stairs left and right of the slab, like this. So it wants to be upside down, left and right of the slab, and that simply forms a desk. And what we then want to do is we want to take that middle slab, we want to leave a gap of one in the ground, and we want to place a hole in the ground, and you actually want to dig down by one, like that. Because, you see, the point of this is that we're going to be placing desks. Now, desks are made using pistons and block of redstone. So you place block of redstone in the hole, chuck a piston in it, and that is a desk. And there's going to be three desks to each row. So, leaving a gap of two going right, we want to knock into the ground by two. One, two. Leave a gap of two going right, knock into the ground by two. Place the block of redstone and place pistons coming up. Like that. I think these make great looking desks. We want to, leaving a gap of one between the desks and moving backwards, we want to place a row of oak wood stairs with wooden trapdoors on the side of them because this forms some pretty good looking chairs. I don't know, it's, it's so simple, but it looks really good. I really like how these particular chairs look and it's a very easy design. Leaving a gap of one, we want to dig into the ground behind the chairs, leave a gap of one, and we want to create another row of, uh, another row of desks, basically. So, leave a gap of one, chuck some block of redstone into the ground, and place some more desks, with, once again, leaving a gap of one behind them, place the chairs, with wooden trapdoors on the sides of the stairs, like this, coming all the way across and we will have now two rows of desks and chairs and they just look nice like this I, I don't know what else to tell you that's a nice little row of desks we have enough for six students now so let's add a bit of detail to what we already have shall we before we move on so the windows I think would look nice with shutters so I'm going to place wooden trapdoors left and right of the windows other acceptable items are simply to place banners to look like curtains but I kind of like the blinds we're also going to place a light switch although we don't have any functional light in this room somewhere near the teacher's desk so maybe on the wall just above like maybe here in this position or maybe just with the first row of terracotta we're going to place a button on the wall with an item frame and that just looks like a light switch and speaking of decoration and stuff actually you know what we'll decorate a little bit more later on the walls but on the teacher's desk if you place like a flower pot that kind of looks like you know like a pencil pot and if you place white carpet on the opposite side, that looks like papers, like that the teacher would be marking. So, th those are some additional details that you may want to add. Speaking of additional details, in the corner of the room, I'm just going to put a very simple potted plant. So, in this back corner, same corner as the teacher's desk, I'm going to place a cauldron, a couple of oak leaves on top just as a little bit of decoration and if you want you could even maybe i think you can place buttons can you place buttons on cauldrons no you can't but i'll tell you what you can place on cauldrons which makes them look ever so slightly less cauldron like is you can place signs if you so choose and what we're also going to do is we're going to add a little bit of shelving to the room as well now the way that we're going to make this shelving is very very simple indeed so the way that we're going to do it is that we're going to need ourselves this is where other materials come in uh, we're going to need some awkward planks we need bookshelves we need ourselves some wooden trapdoors we always need these uh, we need some buttons I would like to use chests some awkward slabs and I'm also going to use an enchanting table for this next bit. I'm also going to use item frames as well. And I'm also going to use some flower pots, a lot of materials. So where we have the door, which is here, right? We're going to leave a gap of one from this corner and we're gonna come down this wall. And to start with, we're gonna leave that gap of one, leave the corner block alone, we're gonna place a chest. And next to that, two oak wood planks. And then a chest. And then we're going to leave a gap of one. We're going to place an oak wood blank, bookshelf, 
enchanting table, oak wood plank. We're then going to place a flower pot on top of this oak wood plank here, just for a bit of decoration. We're going to place an item frame just above this oak wood plank here. We're going to place a shelf above all of this. So we're just going to place a shelf in this position just above all of this. And we're also going to place a shelf above this first row of units as well. But it's going to be slightly lower. And we're also going to just simply place books on it. I'm going to place buttons here and here. Just to make them look like a filing cabinet or like open drawers, just to add a bit of detail. And I'm also going to place wooden trapdoors in front of the chest, just so that they kind of look like, you know, it just looks like storage, but not as Minecrafty, basically. I'm also going to chuck a pot of plant up here on this shelf, maybe in this position. I kind of like that a little bit better. And I'm also going to just chuck a couple of things in the flower pots, maybe like a poppy and ferns. Once again, as decoration. If you want, you could even get a bit sciencey, and you could perhaps put like a brewing stand um, in one of these places. Like you could put a brewing stand on that shelf. Well, it kind of looks like a Bunsen burner or something sciencey. Once again, test tubes, that sort of stuff. In the item frame, I pretty much just designed it to put an apple in it, and the reason for that is because teachers, apparently, I've never experienced this in real life, love apples. Yeah, that, that, that's why the apple's there. It's just as a little bit of an Easter egg, really, or an Easter apple. Uh, what else are we going to need? So we're going to need an armor stand and some tripwire hooks. And the purpose for this is we're going to use these last three spaces here. We're going to place an armor stand in the corner with tripwire hooks above it. Or maybe like in the same level. And uh, the reason for this is quite simply as a bit of decoration. Because I don't know about you, but in some classrooms you have sometimes have some places to like hang your coat or your blazer or whatever. That's what this is. It's basically just uh, to hang some stuff. And uh, the only last little bit of detail, guys, honestly, the last few bits of detail are basically just going to be us putting up some pictures, which I think I've actually got rid of them all, which is a bit sad. Yep, I, I've definitely got rid of all the pictures. And um, we're just going to be putting the carpet in. So let me show you. So I want to have a picture directly above the teacher's chair, right? So I specifically want a 1x2 picture. So I, I kind of like the creeper one. I'm going to have that there, just above the teacher's uh, teacher's chair. And I'm also going to have some pictures above the chairs at the back of the classroom. Because otherwise, this particular wall is a little bit bare. And I would prefer... Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is... That's the same picture three times in a row. I was literally just about to say I don't want the same picture above every every single chair. Thank you, Minecraft. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do. That's a little bit better. What are the odds of that happening? I wonder. But anyway, that's that's what I want to have. That's looking quite good. I think um, everything's looking uh, looking really nice. And the only thing left to do is to add a little bit of carpet. So uh, luckily, I don't think that there's anything in this room that actually gets destroyed by destroying the ground so um, I'm just going to dig all the way around ah the only thing is the armor armor stand is going to drop I do believe but that's the only thing and I'm just going to place some green carpet again it's just it can be any color carpet you can use it doesn't really matter which color carpet you can even model this after your own classroom a little bit if you wanted to I mean that'd be that'd be kind of cool but um, yeah for for the most part I'm you know you choose your own colors if uh, if you want to use different woods and stuff do that if you want to add um little sort of you know little little kind of like i don't know like just little easter eggs that you'd like find in your classroom it might be kind of cool to add those and if you've got friends who are in the same class and they play minecraft too then it might be it might be kind of fun to show them around and just be like oh wow that's 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 like real life i don't know but um yeah Choose your own colors and carpets and stuff, and please do really, you know, make make this your own. I uh, I want you to, um, I really want you to kind of like customize it in a way that, uh, in a way that is, you know, 
that it makes you a bit more happy. You don't have to necessarily follow along with everything that I do. But I think if you were kind of struggling for some ideas for a classroom, then I think that I've given you guys a very good start here, and I don't think I've missed too much that you might want to add. I mean, I wanted to make a, a decent sized classroom. I didn't really want to make a really, really small classroom, and I didn't want to make a huge classroom either. So I think that I've got it nice in the middle. And the only thing that I haven't done is I haven't replaced underneath the armor stand, and that is because I have a bad feeling about this. If we destroy underneath the armor stand, it, it drops down. So I'm just going to um, place green wall here. I'm going to place an armor stand, maybe even face it towards the front of the class, just to be creepy. And there you go, guys. That is a nice little, uh, that's a nice little classroom. It looks really good, I think. I think I've done a pretty decent job with this one. And if you want to add a ceiling and lights and stuff, then obviously you guys know how to do that, no problem. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. I had a lot of fun making this, and I thought that it was kind of like the perfect build for those of you guys that are going to go, be going back to school um, really soon. So I thought that I'd have a bit of fun making this. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. If you do enjoy the content, click the little bell. That makes sure that you get everything sent to the sub box. And if you do want to see some more... I don't know, school related stuff or whatever related stuff, let me know down there in the comments. But without any further ado, guys, check out. Oh, also, check out the card system and the description below if you want to make my school and school bus and school interior. Although you could actually use this classroom as, a, as the interiors for the school. It's actually a bit of an upgrade, I think. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. I hope that, uh, I hope that school's a little bit more bearable this year for you. And I'll see you in the next video.